Hey doc, I'm Dr. James R. Fetish. I'm a practicing chiropractor just like you. I'm the author of Secrets of Million Dollar Practice, available on Amazon and everywhere else. I'm also the host of the popular podcast show, Path Assessed with Dr. J, where a lot of great interviews, John G. Martini, Mark Santa, and Lloyd, all the greats of chiropractic are on there. Today I want to do a quick whiteboard video for you, show you how to get from where you want to go to where you want to be. So right now we're here, we're talking about how to get here. So where are we right now? A lot of people... A lot of my coaching clients, people I talk to, don't have enough money. There's a lot of student loan debt. The chiropractic population has a huge student loan problems. I have associates three, four hundred thousand dollars in student loans. It's a big, big problem. We don't have enough debt. We do have too much debt. Today. We don't have enough time, right? So we don't have enough time on our hands, and uh, we want to spend more time with our family, and kids. A lot of people think because I have a large practice, because I do all this stuff, that I'm busy. And I am busy, but I'm home by three o'clock two days a week. I'm home at six o'clock the other three days a week. I'm not working crazy twelve hour days. So we want to talk about how you get more time, get rid of your debt, and increase your income or profits, right? So we want to decrease the debt, decrease your time at the clinic, increase your free time, and we want to increase your amount of income. So how are we going to get you from where you are now to where you want to be, where we have more time? I know I got sloppy handwriting. That's what came out of doctor, right? Decrease debt and increase income. Right, so we want to get from here to there. So how are we going to do that? This is every chiropractor I coach or talk to or go speak at a seminar I have on my podcast. We all want to get from here to there. So we realize there's some points along the line we have to get through. So number one here is to increase new patients. So we got to get your new patient numbers up. Uh, most offices need more new patients to increase their, their flow, increase their income, and get the practice booming and more. So we got to learn ways to increase new patients. Things are changing. There's all sorts of different ways to get new patients. I always tell people I can't teach you a way to get 100 new patients, but there's 100 ways to get one new patient. There's a lot of little systems, a lot of stuff in my book, a lot of stuff in the podcast, there's a lot of stuff out there. If you're a coaching member, there's a lot of stuff in our vault, and there's tons of ways to get new patients. The first thing you got to do is set up a marketing calendar, and that's going to help you uh, market your practice nonstop. Most of your new patients should be coming from two sources. All right? So one is going to be referrals, and two, internet. So there's more, but those are going to be the bulk years. In our office, we get about 100 new patients a month. You're going to be 60, 70, 20 here, and that's going to get us to 80, 90, and the other 20 are going to be 20 other different ways that we can teach you. But referrals, so people think just because you did a good job, you're supposed to get referrals. It's not true. You don't get a good job by doing referrals. Uh, you don't get referrals for doing a good job. You have to go above and beyond. So I tell people, we did have a podcast episode on this, People expect you to get them better. That's your job. You're not going above and beyond. If you say, I got the patient better, I didn't get referrals. That's not the way it works. You did your job. That's why one of the things I, always, I just get a little mad about is say, you know, fireman saves cat or a cop, you know, saves or stops a burglar. And to me, that's, you're doing your job. You shouldn't go downtown and all get an award for doing your job. You're paid to do a job, do your job. And that's us as chiropractors. You're paid to get people better. Getting people better doesn't get you a referral. You have to go above and beyond. That's why we teach things like a shock and awe package and a referral system in our system to do that. Internet marketing is a whole long spiel, but getting patients on the internet is much easier than it used to be. It's the way you got to do things nowadays. So increase new patients will be number way. Next thing we need to do is systematize your practice. So increasing new patients is going to increase your income. It's going to decrease your debt. And uh, next is systems. That's going to work more on your time, getting you more time. So we got to systematize your practice. If you've ever been to McDonald's, we understand that there are 16-year-olds are running these businesses. The average McDonald's collects over $2 million a year. Your chiropractic practice, very few do that much. Uh, we do that, but most people don't. And one of the big reasons is systems. You have no systems in your practice. There's no checklist in place. There's no office policy manual, procedure manual. There's no training system. There's no staff meetings. Those are some of the big things you got to do. So we have a lot of stuff on this in our member section. And we have programs available on our website as well. You got to increase your systems as well. Um, so those are the two, first two things you got to do. So we're increase patients, increase your systems. We got to increase your retention. As uh, the next one, so we got to keep them a little bit longer. So there's a lot of systems for that as well. And again, it's not just the day one and day two procedures are super important. We teach those in our system. It's all in there. But there's other ways of increasing retention, the way you follow through, keeping in touch with the patient, patient newsletters, patient birthday cards. All that stuff is really, really important at keeping your retention higher. So if you have more new patients and you keep them longer, you're going to increase your income and you're going to be able to pay down your debt. And that's what most of my docs need to be doing out there. We're going to do that. Increasing your systems, getting your system flow in a better way is the way you're going to be able to get more time. I'm able to leave at 3 o'clock on a Friday and still have 40 patients come in because we have a well-trained staff, a well-owned machine, a great team behind me that's able to treat those patients. I'm able to go home and spend some time with my family on a Friday afternoon. So increasing the system. So we get from where you want to be to there. There's a lot more little steps on the way, but some of the big things you got to do, most offices don't aren't getting enough new patients in the door. Number two, we don't have the systems in place to handle the patients, handle the practice. 
handle the staff to, to get our time off and to make sure things run smoothly and we're not retaining the patients long enough. And those are things like retention systems, keeping in touch with patients, newsletters, birthday cards, proper day one and day two procedures. And we follow through with all this, we can get to the point where we have more time off, get rid of your debt and increase your income. And that's really the answer here for you today. So hopefully this helps you out. There's a lot more to that, but just a general ballpark of how we get from where you wanna to go to where you need to be. These are some of the key steps along the way. Now, of course, in between there and there, these are some of the key things. There's a hundred little things in there you need to do. So if you need some help, like a lot of our clients do, there's maybe some coach spots available on the website. It's drjamesfetish.com, F-E-D-I-C-H. If anything's open, hit the membership application, you'll apply, it'll go to our team, we'll review it. If you think it might be a good fit for us and our system, we can help you further along this path and speed this up a lot. So you'll be able to get to here to here. This might take 15 to 20 years. If you have a good coach or mentor, maybe it takes five or seven years. We can just speed this up for you a lot, right? So that's what someone's gonna, coach or mentor's gonna do for you. So hopefully this helped you out and we'll hope to talk to you soon.